everybody, this is Deb with Truthification Chronicles, and you're probably watching this on Thanksgiving. So I want to say Happy Thanksgiving to everyone, and I want to thank you for viewing my videos. If you're a subscriber, that's awesome, and I want to thank you so much for that. If you're not a subscriber, all you have to do is push that little button and subscribe. So that would be wonderful. That would be a wonderful blessing to me on Thanksgiving. So I want to thank you so much for being here, and we're going to look at the notables that the Anons have been coming up with on 8chan. Remember, even if you're not a Q fan, a lot of this is just going to deal with different articles that they're finding, research that they're doing. They really rarely mention Q in any of their notables. So, ah, and I also want to remind you that I'm not going to edit this, so it's probably going to be really bad. And I will stutter, and I will stumble, and I'll say a lot of ho-hums, and ahs, and ands, and thes, and whatever. <laughs> so, I hope it's not too bad. And uh, anyway, so join me as we go through this. I have looked at some of these notables and some of them I brought up in other tabs to show you, but I haven't seen this particular board's notables, so we'll look at it. I think, I, you know, I've been sitting here getting this all set up, so probably it's a full board by now. But anyway, they call it Divinity Dubs, the, the two numbers at the end, 77, that's dubs. So uh, anyway, this is a catalog, and you just click on the newest one, whichever one is the newest. Again, let me remind you that there might be some not safe for work type pictures, although I really try to stop those, and those I might cut out if there's any really bad ones. So I'll try not to do that, and as you can see, my connection is going to go really slow. I think it has to do with my furnace. When my furnace goes on, I think there's like some signal it sends, and it temporarily interrupts my my internet. So yeah, it's really weird. Well, it's what you get for living out in the sticks, I guess. Anyway, so let's see what we can find what the Anons have. As always, just remember we are researchers who deal in open source information, reasoned argument, and dank memes. We do battle in the sphere of ideas and ideas only. We neither need nor condone the use of force in our work here. So remember, we're not violent. We don't promote violence. We don't promote hatred of any kind. It's just this is 8chan. This is the boards, the research boards. So here we go. Uh, these are Q's latest posts. If you haven't seen them, then he had one, think D5, and we now know that D5 means December 5th, which is when Huber is going to testify, and it's going to be public. So that's going to be exciting. So those are Q's posts, and I will link down below where you can go to see Q's posts if you want to. Down here are the notables. The notables are just things that they come up with as they're going through their research and they think, hey, this is interesting or maybe we need to dig more on this or let's see if we can find any connections or whatever the case is. So they post them here. And so in this case, um, remember they're not endorsements by Q. Q does not necessarily endorse them. It's just this is things that these are things that they come up with. Okay. So uh, they have the board numbers here, that, and this is 77, so that was 76, was the last board. Let me go down here to the bottom, because they do have all of these previously connected notables, and they have these archives, I mean, they have it all. But also, I don't link to the 8chan boards, just because we don't want the extra traffic. If you are like an Anon and you want to do research, that's great. But and you're welcome to go and read the stuff, but it really is kind of dangerous working on here, and we've had a lot of shills lately. I mean, a lot. So there's been some kind of nasty stuff being posted, and definitely stuff that's very um, kind of depressing. So, you know, we, we don't deal with that kind of stuff. We don't deal with hatred. We don't deal with the, those kinds of violent images or pornographic images. Yes, you will see some boobs uh, if you go on the board but usually that's about the extent of it so anyway boys will be boys huh uh, so let's go back here and let's look at this um, these are the notables again we'll, I'll just hover over them and show you what they've come up with so this particular one is head of Mi Russian military intelligence GRU dead after long and serious illness hmm so that could be interesting. There's a link there to that. I wonder, you know, it's just kind of when they die like that, you've got to wonder, right? 
Okay, the next one. Meadows plans to ask Huber several questions regarding the investigation of the Clinton Foundation. Now, unfortunately, the picture on this one's not coming up, but it's an article from Zero Hedge and the House GOP hold hearing on Clinton Foundation probe committee working whistleblowers. Okay, so they've got some whistleblowers that they are going to be talking to and I don't think I opened that, but I'll go through the links later on up that I've got open. We'll see if that's one of them. I don't think it is, though. Anyway, uh, let's go on. Oh, Avenatti's charges referred for misdemeanor filing consideration. So there's the, the article about that. L.A. County reveals decision on domestic violence charges against Michael Avenatti. The Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office revealed on Wednesday that they would not be seeking felony charges against Michael Avenatti. Um, can you, you know, what's an interesting question that I thought of when I saw this is, I know you can't vote when you're a felon. Can you be president if you've got a felony on your record? An interesting question. If you know anybody who's like, and we're in the chan, so I'm going to say a law fag, because that's what they call them. If you're a law fag or something, please let me know. Is that possible? Um, I, I don't know if there's any stipulation against it. But it could be. I hope there is. It would only make sense. Anyway, razor wire to keep out migrant caravan is most visible result of $210 million military deployment. Well, yeah, but there's a lot of stuff that they've had to get because the equipment was in really disrepair. Plus, there, there were a lot of things. Obama was really trying to scale things down. And he was setting us up so that we would not have a very good military. So um, we may not see everything out of that 210 mil million, but things are happening. And obviously the, the wire is a big part of it. But yeah, they really put that wire down if you've been watching the videos. Phew, they're not going to get through that. More New Jersey house fire details. Okay, I don't know if you know about this, but there was this house fire and evidently from what i've picked up on it this new jersey millionaire was okay he started a fire at his brother's house and it and his, he stabbed and the wife and the kids of his brother and then he i don't know he killed his own brother the guy who started the fire so, yeah, um, brother of New Jersey millionaire who was found shot dead in his burning mansion with his stabbed wife and kids is charged with setting his own house on fire while his wife and two daughters were inside. So it was his brother, his brother was there with his sister-in-law and kids is what I've been trying to figure out. It's kind of weird how it's all put together, but, um... Yeah, some really fishy stuff going on there. You got to wonder if there's any connection to any deep state people there because this is just really an odd situation, something weird that happened. Uh, here we have the Dansk Bank. Laundromat whistleblower says com complex web of big banks involved. Deutsche Bank moved $150 billion through U.S. unit. Hmm... Now, I don't follow a lot of banking stuff, so that's not really my forte, which is one thing about the Anons that I really appreciate. Everybody has, like, their area of interest, so they're really good at certain things. And they dig, when they dig, they dig on those particular things, and they really understand what's going on. Like, there are some of them who deal with the banks, and they understand a lot of the issues that are going on with the banks. And so... I'm not a bank person, so I'm not sure of the significance of some of this, but I do know that, well, moving $150 billion through the U.S. is probably not a good thing, and laundering money, not a good thing, definitely, and whistleblowers are great because they're bringing out a lot of this stuff. Uh, and then they pointed this out with the Loop Capital. This is one of Q's posts from January 13th and uh, how this all fit together and Q gave us some money some money totals and things oops sorry and follow the money 
but you know that follow the money right loop capital is really big in all this this is kind of their slush fund their way of laundering money so um, and where it says we don't say his name that's um, John McCain okay so that's an interesting connection to his post maybe that is connected US to build outposts along Syria Turkey Bordy border Bordy, <laughs> it's been a long day. Border, Mattis says. So Mattis is there. He's talking about building outposts. The U.S. military will set up observation posts along the border of Turkey and Syria to observe and report militant forces moving in the area. The Defense Department announced Wednesday. At a press briefing, Defense Secretary James Mattis said the posts aim to reduce tensions between the U.S.-aligned Kurdish forces and Turkish authorities who have accused some Kurdish forces of involvement in terrorist attacks in Turkey. So, to get a better handle on things, I guess. That's why they're doing that. Okay, um... ICE removes five fugitives wanted in El Salvador for various crimes including aggravated murder okay come on computers being weird there we go <laughs> okay ice okay officers with u.s immigration and customs enforcement ice uh and removal operations on friday removed Five illegal aliens from El Salvador who were fugitives wanted in their home country for various serious crimes, including aggravated murder. Charming people. Yes, we want them in our country, don't we? So all five were flown on an ICE Air Operations charter flight from the George Bush Intercontinental Airport in Houston, Texas, to the Monsignor uh, Oscar, Oscar, Monsignor, Oscar Alnuflo Romero International Airport in San Salvador. Oops, sorry. Okay. Upon arrival in El Salvador, all five fugitives were presented to the Policia Nacional Civil. Great. So they were arrested. Yay! Always good to see those kinds of people behind bars, right? MI6 asked POTUS to not publish documents regarding Mo about the Mueller probe. Hmm. MI6 battling to stop Donald Trump releasing classified Russia probe documents. Why would they care? MI6 bosses appealed to Donald Trump not to publish top secret documents relating to the Mueller probe over genuine concern they will reveal the names of British sources. Hmm. Or they will reveal the names of British people who were involved in the plot to take down our POTUS. MI6 battling to stop Donald Trump. Uh, chiefs are ser secretly battling Donald Trump to stop him publishing classified information linked to the Russian election meddling investigation. Yeah, because they're guilty. They were part of it. That's why. So were the Aussies. And again, it's not the British people and it's not the Australians. It is the leaders. Some of the leaders were involved. Okay, this is just a reminder that the military courts, uh, military courts martial takes place. Uh, the update, the executive order that Trump did, I told you I'd be babbling a little bit. Sorry about that. My brain doesn't always process like it should. Okay, they take effect on January 1st, 2019. And so it's going to be interesting. One of the things that I have a question on on this, and I haven't been able to find an answer yet, I should just ask them and see if anybody can ha tell me about it. But um, if they don't take place until January 2019, January 1st, 2019, and the crimes have already been committed in the past, how does that affect them? I mean, they have to do crimes after, from what I've read of it, they have to do the crimes after January 1st. Now that's going to probably work okay for the transnational criminal organizations, you know, like the Clinton Foundation and stuff like that, if they're still working. But I'm not sure it's not going to do anything for like the plot to take down Trump because that's already a done deal. Um, so I'm not sure about that. Hackers erased 6,500 sites from the dark web host and this Anon seems to think that those were Cabal sites. Bye-bye, Cabal. 
and there's the article linked to it. So, I don't know, their dark web could be anything from there. Trumpy Bear. Now, I did open a tab on Trumpy Bear, so because I wanted to see what it was. So, I've got this open in another tab, and I'll show you that in just a minute, Trumpy Bear. Uh, here's a Q proof of MI6 connection mentioning in FISA. Q drop from July 2018 and it just connects these together because because Q did mention it there having to do with the FISA because he said the FISA will implicate some of the um, officials from the UK and Australia. Western weapons, equipment, and structures flood Ukraine in sign of further tensions with Russia. On November 20th, the Daily Telegraph reported that the UK is going to increase its military support to the Kiev government. This effort will include the deployment of British troops in Ukraine and sending a British Navy ship to the country. Okay. Interesting. Moving troops around there. And then these are just uh, Trump's tweets. It's the same tweet both times. This one's a little bit bigger, easier to read. Brutal and extended cold blast could shatter all records. Whatever happened to global warming? <laughs> I love the way he does this. Uh, Goldman Sachs downgraded by Morgan Stanley until Malaysian one million, yeah, dollar, uh, yeah, sorry. Don't know what MB MDB is. <laughs> sorry. Scandal is resolved. I should read the article, I guess. But anyway, they can't. They downgraded it until they get this resolved. So, again, I, you know, when this kind of stuff is not my area of expertise. So I don't dig in this that much, and I'm not as familiar with it as some of the Anons. Italian cops destroy mafia homes. Ooh, that could be interesting. Italian police have begun bulldozing a community of eight villas allegedly built by a mafia clan in Rome. Some of the residents claim the raid amounts to the kind of persecution that Jews faced under the fascist dictator Mussolini. Yes, let's destroy mafia homes. I don't know why they're doing that, but interesting. Okay, and then again, Trump was really busy on Twitter today. You just can't win with the fake news media. Big story today is that because I have pushed so hard and gotten gasoline prices so low, more people are driving and I have caused traffic jams throughout our great nation. Sorry, everyone. But of course, you know, they're not really. There's the same thing. I don't know. He got it three times. I don't know why. But yeah, it's just another way for him to jab them there. Reddit's Alexa, Alexis Ohanan. <clears throat> excuse me, lead series of, of Series A funding round for autonomous retail technology startup. Okay, other investors include Gary Tan, Tan's initialized capital. Fewer jobs for us means more control for them. Hmm, interesting. Welcome to Dictatorship. What lies behind France's controversial fake news law? Ooh. La France. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a? Um, French Parliament has passed a controversial law to tackle fake news, approved ahead of the European election and clearly targeting foreign media. It is feared it would jeopardize democracy and censor press. Oh, hey, Monsieur le Président, what are you doing? Yeah, he's really, he's deep state. He really is. He's part of the cabal. And, yeah. I was so hoping he wouldn't win. And he can't, you know, he came close to losing, but just not quite close enough. Uh, Huber, testimony on bleh, bleh, Huber testimony on December 5th will be public. That's going to be interesting. Although, the thing is, you know, how much is he going to be able to say? Because they can't, it, they can't talk about anything that is an ongoing investigation or that's sealed. Because if you saw my previous video on Julian Assange, you know that you can't talk about sealed indictments. You can't talk about what's in them, the sealed evidence. 
So I'm not sure how much he's going to be able to say. And I'm afraid it's going to end up being, well, I can't talk about that. Well, I can't talk about that in open session. Can't talk about it. And that's why Comey, by the way, wants an open session because he knows he won't be able to say much. And he can get away with saying, oh, I'm sorry, I can't speak about that in an open session. That's why he wants it. That and he wants to grandstand, I'm sure. You know, get everybody on his side so he can sell more books. I, I tend to think that he's not been selling a lot of books lately. Be interesting to find out. President Donald J. Trump announces intent to nominate and appoint individuals to key administration posts. Okay. Members of the National Council on the Humanities. So, a list of people that he's putting on there. Man, you know, I never understood just how many people a, a president has to appoint. There are like just massive amounts of people in our government. Oh, I just didn't understand how big it was. Trump easily defeats potential GOP rivals in hypothetical primary matchups. Come on. Yeah, that's from the Hill. Of course he is. I mean, anybody who's going to try to run against him is just like, stupid because he will defeat them all I mean he defeated him last year he's going to defeat him again or in 2016 he defeated him time flies when you're having fun Abu Dhabi fund sues Goldman as the what inspired client exodus begins so there's more about that with Goldman Sachs Khashoggi didn't have a U.S. passport or green card. Did you know that? Yeah, he was not a U.S. citizen. He was not a permanent residence. A resident. <laughs> residence is where you live, right? Oh, uh, okay. So, he, he had a passport. That's a Saudi Arabia passport. So, his, his passport was Saudi. And so, there's a lot less pressure on Trump if he's not a U.S. citizen or a permanent resident because he wasn't. So why in the world are they pushing that? You know, and I've heard him say that he was on the news. So kind of call him out when they do that. Dems won popular vote in House races by margin not seen since Watergate. Yeah, this is very suspect. Election fraud anyone? I guess. This you know, they had all these votes. Oh, it was a big blue. They're trying to claim it was a bl big blue, bleh, big blue wave. It wasn't. And I don't know. Watch California because I do think the voter fraud thing is going to hit California pretty fast. In fact, somebody I saw on Twitter today posted that on Limbaugh's show, and I didn't get a chance to catch Limbaugh today. A woman had called in and she said that she lived in California and that she put in for a, a mail-in ballot. They sent her six and they sent her information saying, you need to vote for Democrats. Really? I mean, I don't know. I, I, again, I didn't hear Rush today, so I didn't hear the woman. But if that's true, that's just outrageous. Really, stuff like that, it needs to be taken down because they had counties in in California that went blue and they haven't gone blue in like decades and they turned them blue. I don't, I don't believe it. I honestly don't believe it because we Trump supporters are happy with him. We're not, we're not regretting our vote. That's what they thought that we regretted our vote. I don't regret my vote for him. In fact, I'm much more behind him now than I was when I voted for him. I was still hesitant when I voted for him, but I sure didn't want Hillary in, so I took a chance. And wow, I'm so glad I did. Okay, so then we go to this other board. Is Mueller investigating Russian oligarch Deripaska? Could very well be. Hope so. Deripaska leads right to Adam Waldman and Mark Warner. Yeah, Mark Warner is going to be removed. I mean, he's part of this. He is definitely dirty. And he's the one that gave the stuff to James uh, Wolf. So, short answer, yes, Deripaska is to Putin what Clinton is to Trump. 
Mueller is doing God's work. Don't care if you don't like him. Don't care if you don't believe me. Mueller is going to put people away who interfere with the ele in the election. Russians, Brits, Canadians, and Israelis, and the Americans who aided them. So, very interesting. Here was the original post. I kind of went backwards. Sorry about that. So, here was the original thing. So, an article appeared in the New York Times regarding Deripaska that almost seemed as if Deripaska had written it himself. Yeah. Yeah, there's... This, this is... It's just so intricate, you know? All the different factors. Facebook censorship double standard child bride auction goes unnoticed. Yeah, there was this... And I don't know why they have Whitaker there, but they sometimes just post photos. Um... But yeah, this is an article about that. I think I have that pulled up in another tab. So I'm going to wait and talk about that then. Hopefully I don't get demonetized for it. They demonetized my um, Islam bride ones. So anyway, that happens. BB wishes us a happy Thanksgiving Day. Grateful for our extraordinary friendship. So happy Thanksgiving to all my American friends. That was nice of him. I guess. Okay. I don't know. Boy, I tell you, the one video of mine watched the water that I really have no idea what it meant. I just saw these water things that were connected and I put them up. <laughs> I put them all, all, all together in one video and put it up. And it's been going like crazy. It ha has over a million views. And some of the people in there are just... They hate him to death. And I don't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy. I don't know. I used to like him, but then Q came along, and I'm not sure who to like anymore. On this one, I yeah, I just don't know. I don't know how he's playing. He seems to be okay, but then again, I'm not necessarily trusting him. So maybe if you know more, you can leave me a note down below. Apple kicked Verizon owner Tumblr out from the App Store for child pornography. Oh, nice for them to do that. And so I'm not going to dwell on that very much because I really can't see the pictures. And I don't want to see the pictures if that's what they are. But very interesting. Steve Bannon speaking at the Oxford Union last week. And must see hol holiday TV. Steve Bannon speaking at the Oxford Union last week. Brilliant speech. You can hear idiot protesters reading outside the hall. The entire time, those freaks are so indoctrinated. So, um, be interesting to watch. It's a YouTube video. I'll try to remember to get that link and put it down below. U.S. setting up observation posts on Syria-Turkey border. Didn't we already say that? I think we did. That's the DOD. Yeah. Uh, coldest Thanksgiving in decades. So, here comes the storm. Yeah, we already saw that. Anyone seen GW lately? No, I haven't actually. Dem challenger concedes to incumbent Woodall in Georgia's seventh district. So, whoops, there we go. So, Democrat Carolyn Bordeaux conceded her bid for Georgia's seventh congressional district on Wednesday against incumbent Representative Rob Woodall more than two weeks after Election Day. Well, finally, some of them are conceding, but phew, boy, they sure have put up a fight. I hope that things are working in the courts right now. Government rejected Boston bomber Sarne Sarnev's, I never could say his name, cooperation offer. I'm not sure. Okay, come on, computer. Woo. I have a lot of tabs open, and when I have a lot of tabs... Something's down like this. He was a patsy. That's what I think. They set him up to be the fall guy, and then the Jews brought in Mossad surgeon to remove the poor kid's tongue so he could tell no tales. I don't know about that part, but... Um, Boston smoke bomb, complete hoax. Crisis actors came out of the stores. Fan flames, f fans flamed the smoke to create the smoke screen. Nobody died, nobody got hurt. Who cares about the rest of the stupid hoax that they are continuing? You, 
yeah, well, let's see if they demonetize me for that too. They actually took down one of my videos called it a hate speech or bullying or harassment or something because I talked about the difference between false flags and um, hoaxes and they didn't like that evidently. So yeah, they offered him a guilty plea in exchange for life in prison. Prosecutors did not take the deal. He was convicted and sentenced to life for his role. So, oops, sorry about that. Okay, government rejected. Oh, with this, what we just did. Duh, it's getting late. I'm getting tired. <laughs> More of the Asanon's unique numerical analysis of Q drops. I'll tell you, when they get into these numbers, these people are much more autistic than I am. I can't do this. The autists, man, I just, so, um, you know, I don't know. Plain Fags report all quiet above the CONUS tonight. CONUS is continental United States. So, I mean, they, they watch these planes all the time. They're always watching the planes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I think my computer's getting tired too. <laughs> Quiet skies above. So, yeah. Hussein back to community organizer status, food bank in it in Chicago. Uh, Obama the Good Samaritan. Ooh. He volunteers at a Chicago food bank. Yay for him. Oldest living Pearl Harbor veteran has passed away at the age of 106. That's very sad to hear. Wow. I, I'm sorry the picture didn't come up. We were honored to host him at the White House. Early. Oh yeah, that's the it, the tweet. The tweet that there is the White House tweet and it says we are saddened to hear the oldest living Pearl Harbor veteran Ray Chavez has passed away at the age of 106 we were honored to host him at the White House earlier this year thank you for your service to our great nation Ray yeah so that's what that it was just a picture of the tweet and that's what the tweet said because the first time I read it I thought was this wait is who is this anon that he said we were honored to host him at the white house is this anon q because he does that sometimes q posts without it being q he posts as an anon sometimes yeah sometimes he forgets he's forgotten a couple times and he posted it as an anon and then he had to go back and post his q and verify that that was his post so <laughs> we've caught him a couple times and you can do that because of the um, the ID number. You can find out. Okay, this is really starting to freeze up here. So we're going to see if it'll take me to the next tab. Hello. All right, so the computer totally froze up on me. And I had to reboot. And then my power went out. And <laughs> my battery was dead. And it was just like, really? Seriously? Somebody doesn't want me to get this done. Anyway. So those are the notables. I wanted to show you some tabs that I picked up from notables. And the first one was this, Satanic Settlement Reached in Chilling Adventures of Sabrina Statue Suit. The dispute over the goat deity Baphomet shown, promo pro the bleh, shown prominently at Sabrina Spellman School in the Netflix series has been resolved. The Satanic Temple and producers of Chilling Adventures of Sabrina have reached a settlement in a dispute over the statue of a goat deity that's prominently featured in the Netflix series The Hollywood Reporter has confirmed. They sued earlier this month claiming a statue that's displayed in the Sabrina Spellman's fictional school, the Academy of Unseen Arts, infringes on its copyright in a monument of Baphomet. TST was all, also wasn't happy about having its statue associated with certain themes in the series. Specifically, the prominent use of this symbol as the central focal point of the school associated with evil, cannibalism, and murder. Uh, it's the Satanic Temple! I mean, wow. What? How, how has our society gotten to this point? Okay, 
This is just crazy. This was the 21st. Oh, wow. That's just bizarre. Again, I'll put these links down below. I just don't link to the HM board, okay? Um, how about this one? These are all from the Notables. I'm not sure if they were the Notables I showed you, but I did see some of the Notables like from the board before that. So, or maybe two boards. I don't know the boards go so fast. Um, this is, oh yeah, this is from CBS. CBS Broadcasting, want, the CBS News, wants to have the request to unseal materials from the United States v. Cohen. Yeah, they want Cohen's, like, the search warrant. Okay, requesting that the court unseal certain search warrant materials rel related to Michael Cohen. Hmm. They are just so trying to get Trump. They really are. I mean, they are desperate. Wow. So, yeah, and it, it, if you notice here, it says that they have the ABC and the Associated Press, Cable News Network, CNN, and Daily News. All these people want to have it. Well, if you want to know which media outlets are anti-American and are pro-cabal, right there's the list. Oh, wow. Okay, this is a graphic that is just way, way too big. And well, it looks like this, but obviously you can't read anything on there. And even at this, it's kind of hard to read some of it because it's pretty small. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but this is kind of a Spygate summary. And it has all the players, has information about all the players. I mean, this lays it all out there. Here's Perkins Coy, CrowdStrike, Fusion GPS, Orbis. I mean, they have it all right here. This is the entire thing on this graphic. Now, it's, it's just very big because they're trying to connect things like Mark Warner here, what is the ranking member of the Senate Intelligence Committee. And he, well, yeah, and he uh, was the one that was funneling all those classified documents to James Wolfe, who was leaking them to his girlfriend, who was a reporter. I mean, it, you just, it's so complex. That's why all of these lines and everything. And then down here, they have Carter Page, George Papadopoulos, Paul Manafort, who were all set up by this, and they were used so they could surveil Trump. Um, it's just, yeah, it's very complex. And I will... I, I'm not sure how to convey this to you. Um, maybe I'll just give you the 8chan link because it doesn't take you to the actual boards, the research boards, but it just takes you to this file. So you can see this particular file and see what it is. Again, it's not that I'm against people going to the boards. It's just it, they're very focused there on research, and it's not a chit-chatty board like some forums you may know of so they really kind of see people who are you know causing a lot of extra posts in the bread to be like kind of an annoyance so go read the you know the boards that's fine but if if you really don't want to muck things up <laughs> you know it, just read lurk lurk that's what I did for a long time before I posted. And be careful about posting. You've got to make sure there's bad guys on there. So make sure that you don't let the bad guys know who you are. you got to make sure you've got all your precautions in place. Um, this is an interesting article from the Goldwater. Amazon technical error exposed names and emails of customers in major breach. Yeah. And this, like, just came out on the 21st. So... Technical glitch exposed customer data. And it said, Amazon reportedly said the following to affected customers in an email. The issue has been fixed. This is not a result of anything you've done, and there is no need for you to change your password or take any other action. No, everybody just has all your info now. I don't know. 
That's kind of right before Black Friday. Mm, timing is suspicious. Uh, this is an interesting one from Zero Hedge. House GOP working with whistleblowers in Clinton Foundation probe. This was one of them I'm pretty sure I covered. Um, I showed you the link to on the notables. House Republicans will hear testimony on December 5th. That's a key date from the prosecutor appointed by Jeff, Attorney Jeff Sessions to investigate allegations of wrongdoing by the Clinton Foundation, according to Representative Mark Meadows. So, yeah, it, it's um, it's coming down. I don't know what Huber is actually going to be able to say because if they're ongoing investigations or if they're not unsealed I'm not sure what he can say but it's a step in the right direction so we're getting closer all the time I just hope maybe he's got some stuff done and he can make arrests soon 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 yeah I really want to see him happen I, we all do we all want to see the Clintons arrested I mean that's what Trump ran on and it's just so funny that in the news now they're like complaining that Trump had that Trump said that, you know, that he would like to see her arrested. Well, yeah, he said that all through his campaign. That's what we voted in, in for. But you know what the Democrats are doing? They're setting it up so that it's right now anyone that Trump or anyone in his administration would arrest or indict is going to be looked at as a political thing and this is why they've waited so long to unseal these indictments I think they're trying to set up the political climate a little better even though there's a lot of people that still follow the mainstream media I think what's going to have to happen is the FISA have to uh, the FISA has to come out first so people will wake up and they will see just how bad the corruption was I hope because right now if they come out and they try to arrest anybody there's an unwritten law that if Trump t tries to arrest anyone who's who has a D after their name it's going to be seen as a political attack even though it's totally not I mean there's all kinds of evidence we all know that right so I don't know it's gonna be interesting all right this is the Trump bear um, somebody decided they needed a Trumpy bear, like the teddy bear, and the picture's not here, um, here's a picture of it down here, kind of hard to see, I guess it's supposed to kind of look Trumpish, so I don't know, but, uh, what they're saying here is, they're comparing it to the, like the teddy bear and there was a commercial I don't it's not that's just a picture so I don't know what the commercial was I haven't gone to the link but anyway it talks about Teddy Roosevelt nobly refusing to kill a cub it elides the fact that one of Roosevelt's companions then killed the bear with a hunting knife the cartoon inspired the merchants Morris and Rose McTum to create the teddy bear which became a best-selling toy like its ancestor the Trumpy bear becomes more sinister if you understand its origins the ad begins on an ominous note a storm is coming a husky voice says you cannot defeat the storm I am the storm <laughs> mm, yeah well we are the storm what does a storm have to do with stuffed bears? The answer is disturbing. These words are the slogan used by QAnon conspiracy theorists who believe Trump is a heroic figure fighting a secret network of pedophiles that control Hollywood, the Democratic Party, and the so-called deep state. Hmm. The Trump bear is the cuddly avatar for one of the most unhinged factions. <laughs> of America political life. Oh, unhinged factions. Be afraid. Uh, that's from the New Republic, by the way. Be afraid. Uses cuteness masks some to mask something terrible. Huh. That's funny. Keck. Keck means laugh. So, 
but that wasn't on this one. It was for something else. But still, that's just insane. Oh, here's the bear. A little better picture, Trumpy Bear. I don't know. I'd get a Trumpy Bear. He probably has 45 on his cuffs. Yeah, Trumpy Bear. He had 45 on his camouflage hat the other day when he was out in California. All right. Anyway, uh, this is just a summary of... In case you're not familiar with it, there's an executive order that updated the court's marshal manual, and this Anon was just pointing out that it all takes it all takes effect on January 1st, 2019, 2019, 2019, and it shall not apply in any case which charges are charges are referred to trial by court martial before. Okay, well, maybe that's the key right there. Shall not apply in any case in which charges are referred to trial. So maybe that's why they're waiting to refer them to trial. I thought the way it read, it meant that the actual crime had to be committed after January 1st. But maybe I misread it. So that would make sense there. I've been trying to figure out why they waited until January 1st, but... Um, yeah, so that's going to happen. That is the presidential action. It's an executive order amendments to, or presidential action, at least, amendments to the court's manual, or court's marshal manual. Okay. This one was from actually the bread before, but I just thought it was kind of notable and I wanted to include it. Child bride auctioned off on Facebook, which didn't notice the sale. Hmm. Hope they don't take me off on this one. They they demonetize my one on Islam brides, the yeah, child brides. <sighs> because they didn't want anybody to to know about that. That's just not not nice speech. Yeah, well, I'm just telling the truth. A teenage girl in South Sudan was recently auctioned off as a child bride on Facebook, according to a children's rights organization that suggested the social media giant was serving as a modern-day slave market. Now, remember Trump's executive order about dismantling criminal organizations and then the one about seizing assets from organizations that are involved in human trafficking? Hmm, kind of points the finger here, doesn't it, at Facebook? Is it any wonder that some of these organizations are seeing their CEOs step down because they want to get out before that happens? So, anyway, the post about the auction was immediately taken down after its discovery on November 9th. A Facebook spokesperson told HuffPo, on Tuesday, but CNN said that it was 15 days after the auction began and several days after the girl was married. Well, the sale of the girl earned her father 500 cows, three cars, and $10,000, according to Plan International. The rights group said that five men, including high-ranking South Sudanese government officials, reportedly participated in the auction. She was either 16 or 17. Um, there's been stuff going on like that. Lots of stuff. Anyway, I'll put these down below so you can refer to them later. This was a post that I just thought was kind of funny. This is a tweet from Maggie Haberman. Now, if you don't know Maggie Haberman, she is not a patriot, okay? She it, works for the New York, New York Times, and wow, she has really, really betrayed us because she works for the cabal and the deep state man she's she's heavy into it and she's been kind of their mouthpiece in a lot of times in the new york times she has been the one to put out articles that are attack pieces on us and attack pieces on trump and you know she's just she's doing the job the cabal put her in there for so uh, and she had one before about trains or something like that and Q posted it. She said she was waiting on the Q train. Well, then Q posted it. Well, all the Anons went over there to make comments and everything, because that's what we do. <laughs> so, I don't know. She says, Shorter looks like I made the mistake of saying where I was and accurately describing what was said. And then this Travis View says, 
It also appears that at Maggie New York Times made the mistake of referencing the Q train of the New York City subway subway. This inspired Q to link to Maggie's tweet in and then here's here's oh here's what she said. Oh on the Q train OH on the Q train intercom attention passengers the intercom phone is for emergencies only it is not for asking the conductor questions. Okay, and then all of these anons, I mean, somebody posted the Q post on her uh, because there it is, the link to to her status, and then all these Q posts and everything. It was pretty funny. If you go to that link, <laughs> it's always funny when that happens because it's just an eye-opening thing for these people because they get mobbed. I mean, where we go one, we go all, and we just kind of take off after it, so... Um, anyway, hope that picture didn't come out. The one above this is really gross. So I hope that wasn't on there too much. Uh, anyway, so there we have that. I just thought that was kind of funny. You might want to see that. There we are laughing. And down here he says, and that's the story of how Q got Maggie Haberman to retweet Q crumbs. Ha ha ha. <laughs> I think it is pretty funny. Huh? There you go, Maggie. Ha ah, There you go, Maggie. So, sucker, sucker. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Um, I'm sorry that everything kind of went a little weird there in the middle, but you probably didn't notice because I cut it out. <laughs> so, anyway. Well, thanks for stopping by. That's all I had. And again, I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. And if you're not from the United States, <clears throat> Sorry, if you're not from the United States, I hope that you'll take some time today to think about people that you appreciate and things that you're grateful for and thank God for the things that he's given you that, you know, the blessings that are there for you. So it's a very important thing to do. Always give thanks because God has blessed us so much, even when we're looking at the evil that we're facing. There's so many blessings that we have and especially the blessing of having this place like 8chan that where we can go and we can have our patriots together and we can support each other and encourage each other and work together to do things and to come up with all this stuff and put pieces together so it's really amazing how the anons work together and i'm very grateful to the q team and potus for what they're doing so I just want to say thank you God for all of that and thank God for you guys who are watching me right now. So thanks again for stopping by and I'll see y'all later.